Hey, Sparkle and Trey community. I am back again. If you're new to my channel, this is Sparkle and Trey. We spread joy and support in the trading world and welcome to this community. I love you guys. I am excited to be going on this journey with you. I have been day trading, a full-time day trader officially since like August of 2021, but I started this whole process by learning um, the Invest with Terry model. Terry Gioma, she is the one that has opened the whole new world up to me. And I've been doing this uh, through her program, learning how to day trade and how to become a full-time day trader. Not all people go full-time, but I made that decision because I thought that this is, this is a great way to build wealth. Who wouldn't want to do it this way? So I learned how to day trade. If you want to learn how to day trade, the link to her training is below. Highly recommended. It is worth every penny. And you can also be replace your full-time income through day trading using her strategy. So highly recommend that. Um, today, I love to bring value. I love to take you guys along on my journey of being a full-time day trader and let you guys know the things I'm learning, the things that I'm seeing. Um, I feel like learning Terry's course is just the basic foundation of the whole thing you will learn more once you dive in you will find your trading strategy and everybody should have a trading strategy if you don't have a trading strategy and you just out here floating around then that's not good that's nothing you know we, we don't have time to be losing money out here we don't have time we i don't know about you but so make sure you have a trading strategy Okay, and then make sure that you are sticking to your trading strategy that you are not um, uh, that you are not like going all over the place that you are sticking to a trading strategy that is working for you. Okay, um, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video today. Uh, two things I like to bring value to you I like to help you guys out and like just share with you kind of like what I've been talking thinking about um, I don't know if you guys heard the news Elon Musk just bought a ton of Twitter shares he now owns nine percent of the Twitter stock which is crazy so keep an eye out for Twitter I'm gonna watch Twitter see what it does um, all before now Twitter was like not on anybody's like radar really because it hasn't been doing much, even though it's a, um, a social media site that is um, active. A lot of people are in the social in that social media site uh, because Elon Musk got into it. All of a sudden, Twitter is buzzing. So <laughs> you can or cannot look at it. I tend to look at the same three or four stocks. I don't like jumping around to different stocks, but when I see something, I'd like to like at least take a look and see, is it worth it? My Is it worth my time, essentially? Um, so I did talk, we did notice that. Um, right now, the investment community is all over the place and it's great, y'all. It's awesome. What that actually means is that retail investors are making their mark. That means like you and me getting into the stock market and choosing not to quit because a lot of people quit choosing not to quit we're making our mark to where it's now we're in control we are making a mark so the more that you stay in this the more that you okay i i, I didn't i didn't have a great day but i'm going back i had a great trading day oh you hit a you hit a winning streak or maybe you hit a little bit of a losing streak don't give up keep on going the way you don't give up is you make sure that you know your risk tolerance and that you get out at that point. And then you say, okay, I, that this is what I learned from those losses. Let me get back into the game. Do not give up y'all because the more of us that stays in, the more we have a potential to shift the market in our, in the direction that we think it should come. But when we leave it all up to the hedge funds and the big boys, you know, all their money, see, they, there's a few of them that have a whole lot of money, but there's a whole bunch of us with a whole lot of money. And so we are all, they said something about, we're, it's like trillions of dollars. I want to say $5.7 trillion of retail investment money in the stock market. That means we are really taking up a huge piece of the pie and causing everybody, all the gurus that used to be the gurus back in the day to be like, we all know what's going. They think it's, they're calling it a, a, a what's the here? bull bear okay they're calling it a bullish market or is it a bearish market when it goes up they think it's going up 
think that's a bull. Yeah, that's a bull. And bears, okay, bulls, bears. That's how I get it, okay. So they're calling it a, a bullish market. A lot of them are calling it a bullish market, but a few of them are saying they think it's still in a bearish market or a bearish market, at least for the first quarter. The first quarter of 2021 did not do well for the bulls. It was not a bullish market. Did y'all see Apple stock? Like what? Um, yeah, and then Tesla's like shot up out of nowhere because everybody, obviously, I think Tesla's gonna do great in this world economy. I think Tesla's gonna skyrocket, A, because people need more electric cars. They need to reduce their dependency on oil, i.e. what's going on with the war. And Tesla, I think it's just gonna be a great stock to, to just keep an eye on. It did amazing last week. Uh, so that's my little update on what I think is going on in the stock market and kind of what I've been keeping my eye on. Y'all know I only trade a few stocks. I'm, I'm looking at Netflix, Amazon, Google, Apple, like, you know, the big ones. And then I focus in on the SPY. I do like my vertical credit spreads, but sometimes it's best to buy a call or to sell a put. It ain't always be best or buy a call, buy a put. It ain't always best to do a vertical credit spread. So you just got to figure out what works okay um yeah so today <laughs> i'm gonna be going with you guys over i've been trying to do this for the longest time but today i will be talking to you guys about um doing a tutorial on thinkorswim so if you are not in the thinkorswim uh platform and you're like what this thinkorswim platform is a little because maybe you went through the best with Terry course and she trades, she does trade station and that's legit. But like I said, in one of my videos, trade station does not allow you to, it's, it's not compatible with Apple products. Like I have all Apple products, everything, Apple, my phone, like it does, outside of the app. Um, you know, I was at the app. It's like, what else, what else you gonna do? What else you gonna do? I don't know. What else you gonna do? Um, yeah, real quick. I actually, I'm actually trading today. I usually don't upload videos on the day that I trade, but I'm actually trading today. So I'm about to do a real quick adjustment on a trade and I'm sitting here watching, like I'm talking to you guys. And I'm like, <laughs> I usually don't do trades when I upload, but today I'm like, I really, I thought I was cute. So I said, I'm going to do a trade today. I'm going to do a trade today. And yes, oh, I think this is, this is going to be great. It's going to be great. Where is it at right now? Yeah. Hold on just a second, guys. Just trying to get into a trade here. Here, but it's so much time. It's so much time. All right, I'll do this after we do our tutorial. It's just so much time. One thing I noticed about the SIM account, I'm about to log on, I'm about to show you, share my screen, is the SIM account is not, um, it is not up there with, here. the SIM account is like way lag, like the data, like so where the price is today is like right now, when I log into my SIM account, I'm like, the price is not right there. That's not the price. Anyway, y'all, um, I'm, I'm still thinking about getting into this trade. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And we are going to do an overview of Thinkorswim. I'm in my SIM account. Let me make sure I'm my SIM account. Yeah, my SIM account. Y'all be trying. I see y'all. Okay, so we're, I'm in my swim account. I just want to move this little buddy, come down here. There you go. Um, so this is pretty much the platform of the swim account. Sim account. I only really use this sim account when I just want to test things out. So this is what you usually will see. As you guys can see, I have my SPY and a lot of the stocks, somebody in my, um, Comments ask me like, what are the stocks that I look at? Here are a few. Um, I haven't updated this. Like, so I also look at Apple. Um, I look at, is Netflix up there? Yep, Netflix is up there. Amazon is up there. This is the Dow, uh, Facebook, SPX, SPY, obviously Adobe. Um, let me see if I could pull up my list. Let's 
see. Oh wow, this is this is gonna go. Okay, hold on a second, guys. So this is the list that I'm. I'm also. This is like see, again. This is the reason why I don't trade when I record because I'm like trying to trying trying to track my trades. Y'all gotta bear with me. Anyway, so somebody asked me like, what are my trades that I um I look at, and these are some of the trades. That, these are some of the stocks that I look at, um right here, um over here. So when you first log on you will want to put your watch list up here. So the, basically all you do is you go to this little box here and you type it in. So, you know, these are, I put the VIX in there. I swear I put all of, this is the futures market. Um, I put it all in there and you just, that's pretty much it. You just, um, you just put your trades in there or your, or your stocks in there. And the other thing I want you to, to remember is down here, this little gear, if you could see my um, mouse, this little gear will open up and you can actually add to here. So like, let's say these are all the little gadgets you can add. And so what I usually like to add over here is um, like you could change this to the CNBC US. I like to have the Trader TV and, and let's just pause that because we're not trying to listen to that right now. But uh, Trader TV, um, what else? Um, this is my watch list right now. All is watch list, Trader TV. You can also add and uh, use the news stuff. You know, so this tells you what's going on. Um, I don't use that much, so let's take that out. There's another one. You can, okay. Um, let's see here. Where is the one that talks about the current news, live news? So these are like some things that are happening currently and you can actually enter your symbol. Another thing that you could do is like, let's just say you want to trace some of this around. So like you can do that and make that up there. Your account info will always be at the top. This is also show you where your day trades will be too. So if you ever wanted to know like how many day trades you have, or if you're if you're already a, um, a day trader, then yet that doesn't matter, it won't be up here, but all your, your account information will be up here. Um, let's see here. Okay. Um, my trade just feel, they just tr trade just feel. See, this is what happens when you're doing other things and your trade feels, um, it really distracts you. It's very distracting. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I'm over here. So if I get you guys see me. Anyway, I want to show you guys how to place a trade in Thinkorswim. Now, this is a, I'm going to show you how to place an options trade. So let's just say, let's just do like, I guess we were right here. And this is the options thing. Um, yeah, you can do all. You want to make sure you get the right expiration day and then let's just say you're like oh i let's do um you know i don't do naked calls i do verticals so this is the vertical if you want to do a naked call just change this section right here to a single and you can go back to a vertical you can also do iron butterflies are pretty cool too but you just got to know what you're doing they're right here iron condors are pretty cool again just know what you're doing they're right here and yeah, you'd be you'd be surprised at what 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 can happen when you do that. But I like again, you guys know my favorite strategy is the vertical credit spreads. So let's just say I wanted to do it at a uh, strike price of like I don't know. These are not great strike prices, but um, let's just say this one right here. So down here, this will pop up. This is, we're gonna remind you that this is not a real trade, but basically this is saying like, if it stays above this amount, you're gonna get 0 0.10 premium and you're gonna get a credit. So you hit confirm and send. It's gonna tell you again, and this window is very important. It's gonna tell you your max profit, how, how much your max loss is. Um, and I'm actually gonna go back and edit it because I wanna do, uh, if you want to change how many contracts you want to buy, I want, let's say I want to do 45. 
um, contracts, it's gonna automatically update it down here. So whatever you put here, update it down here, you good. Um, confirm and send. And now your max profit has been updated to $450. Max loss, $4,000. Um, again, the resulting buyer power, uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough money for all that. Yeah, because you only have 98,000 and you need, I think you, I don't think I have enough money for all that. Yeah, I, I think I need to reduce this down to 35, maybe 35. Let's see, $350, yeah, okay, so now I'm good. All right, so buying power for options, you wanna make sure that number is below your option buying power here to make sure it is executed, hit send. All of this that I'm telling y'all, you should actually do on, it's easy to me, it's easier on your phone. Okay, so that was, uh, it was sold. As you can see, you see these little, this little area right here tells you that a vertical was sold. So you wanna go to monitor, and under monitor, it shows you filled orders. This is working orders. Working orders is where uh, you place an order and it hasn't filled yet. So you can see all your working orders, but your filled orders will show up right here. Let me move this down. Uh, so your filled orders will show up right here. So as you can see, um, these are your filled orders. And then this is what's happening with that spread right here, okay? Um, Yes, yeah, so that's what happening with that spread. And over here, you can see um, your overall profit and loss since the year, your current available dollars, cash week vehicle, blah, 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 blah. Um, so that's that. So that is what you have, what you just placed, that, the order that you just placed. Actually, we did have more than enough. I don't know what I was looking at. Again, you can, you can, um, this is easier to read, in my opinion, on your um, on your actual um, phone. I rarely place a order on my computer. I, I might read, but you can look at the chart here. Um, I'm just moving my chart over here. This down here, these little area down here is where you can uh, zoom in and zoom out. So let's say you want to put like put your levels. Let's say you want to put your buyer sellers levels in there or something. Um, I'm just looking at one thing here. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just looking at. My, I showed you when I when I'm in a trade, I'm like so distracted. Anyway, let's say you want to put your buyer or sellers levels in. And honestly, some people don't like this dark look. You can change that. You don't have to cap the dark look. All you have to do is go to here. And it says chart settings. So you want the appearance? You can do, I always check fill up, fill down. It comes like this. I don't like that. I don't like that because I'm like, uh-uh. And then I, I sure don't like this. And then some people do this. Nope. I need to see everything filled up and I need to show the wicks too. Um, you can change the color though. I don't change the color because I know green means up and red means down. That's easy. Um. But let's just say you wanted something light. You didn't want it to be dark. Well, you could change that too. Where is the, it shows you, this is the background color. You can change it to white and it'll show up like that. And you hit apply. Um, I've kind of got used to the black, so I'm gonna change it back. Apply. But you can do what you want. That's where you can change it. Um, and then you can do different things with this. And this just depending on your uh, particular thing. Um, I know sometimes when you log on to Thinkorswim, it won't show you all the things. So just make sure you have expansion areas to the right. You could say like 10 and apply, and it'll just give you more space over here, over here, okay? Um, and you can just play around this. I highly suggest you play around with it in your um, SIM account. Uh, so you can, <laughs> you know, understand what's going on. Um, let's see what else. Oh, if you wanna do your levels, drawing tools, all over here. You can type stuff and you can say, uh, I'm just gonna say, uh, this, is, this is actually the 15 minute chart. And so I'm gonna go to the one day. 
and I'm gonna zoom in and you can do like levels. Let me see here. If you have like, you wanna do some buyer's levels or something, you can go like this right here, like right here, all the way over. You highlighted a buyer's level, right? And then you say, okay, well up here is something too. Okay, I'm gonna go here. And I'm not actually doing buyer. Please guys don't think that I'm actually charting right now because I'm not, I can't chart. Um, but you can do like a buyer's over here. Oh, this thing ain't working. Anyway, it's supposed to show up. Y'all get y'all get the gist of it. Here it is. Buyer's, buyer's level, seller's levels, whatever. And you can actually change the color, which is great because um, when you change the color, you kind of can see the difference. Change the color here. And if I'm going too fast, y'all just stop the video, do a rewind and you will see the same thing. You can also change the style or the width. Bam, that's a very prominent um, <laughs> seller's level. <gasps> okay, so you get the gist. You can also add words. So you go to the drawing section. It does this weird thing, come on. And you can go here and type in seller level, okay? You can also do the same, so whatever you need to do. I just want to give you guys an overview. Um, some of these studies that I, that I like, um, I can't even remember them. I already, I already have them. You know, you can do the patterns, show patterns or whatever, but there are some studies that I, sometimes um, use, again, I don't use many studies. If you guys have been a part of my channel, like I don't use many studies at all. I feel like it's, they're important, but there are other ways to trade. Um, yeah, there's other ways to trade. So some of the ones that I do like though, are the trend lines, trend studies. And I think it's under trends. Oh, simple movie average. I don't know. Yeah, simple movie average. That's one of the studies that I have. But you got to know what you're reading, right? You can't just say, "Oh, I got, I, I see, I got the study up." But what are you reading? Um, you know, some people use MACD. I don't use it. I don't use that. RSI is another one a lot of people use. It just depends on what you like or what works for you. But I just want to guys kind of give you guys a short overview of the basics of thinkorswim there's other tools here let me just move myself out the way and there's other tools here that you can get education market watch um this is one of my favorites because it's the visualization of the market the reason why i like this um and i'm just gonna go to the s p 500 because that's what i trade the most um, but you can look at all, all of your watch lists. And if you see a lot of green, don't trade against it. I just tweeted that on my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, that's sparkling trade. I'm going to start tweeting more, but don't trade against the trends. If you're looking at this thing and you're like, wow, it's not a green. Don't trade thinking it's going to go down. There's a lot of green. Definitely. If you're doing like SPX, SPY, lots of green. Yes. There's some red too, but the big people. They great and green. So if you're wondering if it's going to go up or down, this is a good hint. This is a good place to start. Now, does it always follow this? No. Does it change? Yes. It can change. It can change in the middle of the day. All of a sudden it's green. All of a sudden it turns red. Y'all listen. Just know how to trade. Um, anyway, so that's that. One of the things that I love. Um, another thing is they have a scanner i'm going to do a whole separate video about the scanner but you can actually scan for stocks to trade you know you can you can scan for i would say options so you click up here and you want to go to all optionable trades okay and then you want to do that because if you if you're only trading options so i'm all about the options okay unless you have unless you have millions of dollars in your account uh, options is the way to go. All right, so that's my 
that is my basic overview of Think or Swim. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I know that was a little bit of a choppy video because I'm, de I'm definitely in a trade. I'm definitely watching my trade a little bit distracted, but I still wanted to log on and give you guys some value and kind of, again, I'll take you guys on my trading journey and I would love to know how you guys are doing out there. Let me know what your thoughts are. Comment below if you want more videos like this or comment below what you thought. Or even if you're like, hey, Bridget, I have this question. I want to answer it. Let me know what it is. Just comment below and turn on your notifications. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. See y'all later. Sparkle and trade.